Well, our recent rain is making a substantial dent in our drought conditions, as you just saw in Joe's forecast. Firefighters are warning that it's also fueling the brush and grass that tends to burn quickly in a wildfire. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live off of Panorama Drive near Garden of the Gods, where the Colorado Springs Fire Department is hosting a wildfire town hall in less than 30 minutes. Scott. Well, Heather, tonight's meeting targets essentially the southwest side of Colorado Springs, which goes from the Skyway area to the Broadmoor Bluffs area. And we're just about a half an hour away from that meeting starting at 630 tonight. The Colorado Springs Fire Department is hosting its third Living with Wildfire Town Hall, giving residents an opportunity to gather, talk about wildfires, and learn what they can. The fire department informed us of a correction to the location of the meeting tonight. It's here at the Masonic Center, not at the Cheyenne Mountain High School where the last meeting was. So you've got plenty of time to head on over here for the meeting. Now, one of the best ways to prevent fires or lessen their severity is to mitigate, remove high grasses, dead vegetation that could fuel a fire. But because of the rain we've had, it's too wet for many people to mow, cut, or trim. Still, firefighters are closely watching the city's southwest side because they say it's the city's most likely area for the next major wildfire. And the Forest Service is focusing more on mitigation efforts, too. This work is mainly taking place on the Pike National Forest. It's been identified as one of the top um, hazardous fire sheds across the United States. Now, with this month being the 10th anniversary of the Black Forest and Royal Gorge fires, and also the 11th anniversary of the Waldo Canyon fire not too far from here, we have all the reminders we need of how deadly wildfires can be. This meeting also will emphasize people knowing their evacuation zones and having emergency plans in place, because you never know when you'll need them. We're live on the west side of Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.